Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on my boy. In this video, I have you guys another Souls RNG video, and I'll be giving you guys the complete beginner's guide to this game. Everything that you need to learn to actually get started playing in this game and start getting rare stuff. But if you guys end up enjoying the video, like and subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 15,000 subscribers. But yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so before we actually get into things that you should craft, potions that you should make, and other things like that, uh, the first thing that I want to do is just kind of explain the basic parts of the game. So the first thing is obviously you have roll down here, you tap it, you'll get something. You just keep doing this over and over then. Um, at the 10th one, you have 2x luck, which, you know, hopefully you get something good from. Once when, I think they removed it, it used to be 5,000 rolls, but now when you load in, you get auto roll, which is very good because you can literally just AFK and just have an auto clicker on that's tapping your screen. Um, and as long as you do that, you can AFK for as long as you want. But there's other stuff that you guys need to set up before you actually get into that. So right here are all the settings. So the two that you need to focus on are going to be skip warning and auto equip. So if you set it to something that you want, so for example, anything that is higher than 500k is what I'm going for. So I put it at 500k and one, so I don't get the item that's actually 500k. And then if you do that, you put that for skip warning and auto equip. So if you do that for skip warning, then I think it just gives you the warning. Then auto equip obviously will auto equip at 500k. Um, you can use aura filters as well, but I believe this only applies to this roll down here because you guys can see, um, like for that, if I get good or natural or anything like that, it will actually pop up on my screen. But if I go to auto roll, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the basics of the game. Other things that you guys are going to need to know is the storage right here. This is where your auras actually go. Then you have your collection, which just shows everything that you've gotten already. You have your inventory where, you know, obviously your potions, your exo gauntlets, and other things like that will be. Um, achievements, this is where you basically just get free money. So you guys can see, like, some of these do give you a lot of money. Um, I believe one of them gives you 10,000. I wouldn't target them. I'd kind of just play the game and hope that you do them over time. Um, then you have quests, which there really isn't any into the game. And then obviously if you're inside the private server, you have that. There's free pri private servers in this game as well. I highly recommend being inside the private server. Because if you're inside a public server, more than likely your game will lag a decent amount. And then quick roll down here, I believe it's only like 60 Robux or something. Um, but here you guys can see, this is the first most important thing, which is going to be the workshop. A lot of people that play this game don't even know that this doesn't exist, and it's very important. So the first thing that you are going to want to craft is going to be the Luck Glove. As you guys can see, I already have it crafted, but this one will instantly give you 25% more luck. After you're done with that, your target is going to be getting something for Lunar or something for Solar. These will just give you 50% luck. Um, I would say go for solar because this will increase 50% luck while lunar does minus 15% cooldown. So I would say solar is going to be better. If you end up getting both of these and um, getting enough to craft eclipse, then you can get the eclipse device, which just combines them. You get 50% luck with a 15% minus cooldown for rolling. The jackpot gauntlet, I don't really recommend going for. I mean, it's cool, but it's not really needed at all. And then the best one inside the game is going to be the exo gauntlet. Uh, which just has a lot of requirements and obviously you're gonna need gear basing as well to craft all of these um but that is pretty much the basics so once again you craft the luck glove first then you go for the solar device then you go for the eclipse device and then you go for the exo gauntlet if you end up rolling gilded you can go here and just put in here and then you'll actually get 100 coins every single time you do that coins are used to expand your inventory as you guys can see i have 100 or 11 max auras normally you spawn in and you only have like i think four so it's much better to obviously you know get gilded and um, expand your inventory. Other things that you can do for your coins are just running around and find them on the floor. This is also how you get potions as you guys can see, a lucky potion there. Um, that is what I recommend to do while you're rolling. So if you have auto, auto roll on like this, um, I recommend just to run around and collect potions. Um, another thing that I highly recommend to do is going to be the Stella Star mission. To do that, you pretty much just follow the exact path that I'm going. This is also where you craft um, better potions. So pretty much just follow me. You go up this ladder, then you go onto these trees right here. Just keep following this path right here. It does require some parkour, but it's pretty easy. Then you jump up here, go up this ladder, go to your right up here, and then you have to make this jump, which is actually kind of hard. Um, but yeah, once when you're up here, you guys can see for some reason a lot of stuff spawns right there. You drop down here, then you're gonna instantly want to take a left, jump on here. Boom, boom. Keep just basically keep going to your left. Jump up here. Boom, boom, boom. Fail. It is a little hard, but it's pretty easy. And then once when you're here, yeah, bro. 
Let me get a new aura so I can actually see something. Boom, 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 boom. Then you just touch your right, jump up here. Pretty easy to get to, like I was saying. But once when you're here, you find Stella. Now you talk to Stella and she'll give you a mission. Um, once when you get her mission, it's basically you find a star. Um, I believe I have it in my inventory still. So yeah, Stella star. What you're waiting for to actually get the star is down here. You guys can see that it has daytime. Um, it changes to nighttime and then above it, they actually have biomes. Uh, what you're waiting for is going to be the starfall biome. It is one in one million. And then when it actually spawns, you just run around and, you know, try to find the star under a tree. But another thing that you can do here is actually craft potions, uh, which just give you better luck than the normal lucky ones. The only ones that I really recommend to craft are going to be Fortune 3. And if you really want to gamble, then you can try to craft a Heavenly one. Um, the problem with Heavenly, it is pretty good. Um, Heavenly 2, I think it gives you a 100,000 um, luck bonus. So, like, you'll be way more lucky. The issue is, it's only for one roll. So, you're literally, like, gambling and it's super hard to craft. Um, but you guys can craft it if you really want to. Um, I like crafting them because, you know, I like to gamble, but that's really just up to you guys. But once again, you guys just out here, set up this however you want it. Uh, when you're first starting off the game, I recommend setting this to like 900 and, um, 99998. Because if you guys get exotic, then you can actually craft, uh, the Eto Gauntlet, which is the best thing in the set the game. Once again, aura filter, you don't really need to worry about because now you start off with auto roll, which is what this applies to. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much just keep getting money, expanding your inventory so you can have more auras down here. Um, keep in mind, auras don't do, like, anything. They're literally just for cosmetic. Um, so whatever ones you guys like the most is what I recommend to wear because, once again, they really don't do anything at all. Um, basically, you roll just for cosmetics. They don't give you more luck or anything like that. Um, but that is pretty much the complete beginner's guide. Um, once then, I recommend getting the Let Love first, and then getting the Solar device, and then the Eclipse device, and then just your end goal after that is going to be getting the Exo Gauntlet, which looks like this. Um, after you get the Exo Gauntlet, then you're kind of just rolling for whatever's lucky and kind of waiting for an update. Um, but yeah, you can also craft potions over here, do the Stella mission, and that is pretty much all that you really do. It's a pretty simple game. Um, basically what you do is just over here, you turn on the auto roll, you put on the auto clicker, and you hope for something lucky, I guess. Um, the main thing of the game is just spinning, getting something lucky, trying to get on the leaderboard. The rarest thing of the game right now currently is 1 in 250 million, so good luck trying to get that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that you do, that's the complete beginner's guide to Souls RNG. If you guys end up enjoying the video, unsubscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.